Hey, good morning. My name is Dondre Brown. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, 1428 Financial Wellness. As the founder of 1428 Financial Wellness, my goal is to help you take control of your finances. So one of the things I wanna do is not only help you take control of your finances, but help your kids learn how to take control of your finances or take control of their finances, not your finances, but their finances as they get older. So what that starts with is you, right? It starts with you really trying to learn how you can help them learn about financial literacy a little bit differently. But first, let me tell you a little bit about why I think and why I believe financial literacy is extremely important. So 80% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, which means their kids are living in that environment. Me growing up, my mom was a single parent. She worked her tail off. She worked extremely hard to make sure that we had what we needed financially. But one of the things that was missing was the education and transparency behind learning what that took. So when I grew up, I made a lot of money mistakes, got into a lot of debt, um, did some foolish things with my money and allow other people to impact what I did with my money. So my goal today and throughout this channel is to really help you feel empowered to make not only decisions for you, but help your kids make decisions for them for their financial future as you think about family legacy and building generational wealth. But growing up watching my mom, um, it was tough. I didn't know too much about uh, money. I used to uh, just see my mom go to work and then she would come back. Um, I remember my first um, experience with making my own money. I started shoveling snow um, in the neighborhood and I made a lot of money that day. Or to me, it was a lot of money. It was about like $50. I was excited. Um, and the, the thing that I did with the money was I took it and gave it to my mom. I wanted my mom to be able to make sure that we could eat, right? I never forget that she had bought like some steak and potatoes at the time, it was great. So that was my first experience of owning money. I was like, I made this money and I make the decision about how I should spend this money. I think I was maybe 12 at the time. So fast forward a little bit, um, I started observing my mom with money. Um, I remember nights she would come in, she would be upset, frustrated. Um, there were days where she um, just wasn't herself. And I didn't ask her why, but growing up and, and talking to her now, she told me that it was very difficult financially taking care of um, her kids. And if you are a single parent out there, um, whether you're a single dad, single mom, kudos to you. It is difficult to uh, manage uh, not only kids, but the finances behind living in general, right? If you're not a single parent, um, it's still difficult, right? The cost of living has gone up in many spaces. Um, just the, the needs that individuals have, there, there are so many things that impact your finances. So if you are trying to take control of your finances and doing the best you can, kudos to you. Um, I think that you should continue to navigate those things, but hopefully this video will help you. So, um, Having conversations with my mom uh, at the age that I am now, I, I as a um, individual, had to learn not to blame my past anymore. Um, I can no longer say, well, mom, you didn't teach me about finances, so I'm going to continue to make the same financial mistakes. I had to own my own education. But let's talk about the kids that are growing up in those spaces right now. How can you as a parent, you as a guardian, you as a friend, um, or you as someone who wants to advocate for kids and financial literacy help. The first thing you can do is practice PED, P-E-D. PED means participate, educate, and demonstrate. When you participate, participate in the act of increasing your own financial awareness, right? Do some self-reflection. What do I know about money, right? What do I want my kids to know about money? What do I want others to around me to know about money? That's the first thing you do to participate. What that allows you to do is really start to understand your shortcomings, right? Or your areas of growth so that when you go to the next level, it's more intentional. And that next level is educate. You want to educate yourself. So if you want to learn more about budgeting, right? If you grew up in a household, you never really budgeted, but uh, you know that there's power placed in budgeting because once you start to see the money more, um, you're able to make decisions about 
how the money can be directed. I tell people all the time, if you don't speak for your money, something or someone else will. So going along of, uh, the lines of educating, you want to start to increase your financial literacy. First, you increase your awareness, then you increase your financial literacy. So if you want to learn about investing, you start to um, look at YouTube channels, right? Read books on investing. Um, other things you can do is uh, follow my YouTube channel. I talk about investing in my videos as well. So those are some of the things you can do to learn more about investing. Um, but it gets to the last level, which is demonstrate. This is where you actively teach your kids about financial literacy. So demonstrate means that uh, you take your kid, your children, and you say, ask them this simple question. What do you know about money? And then you don't say anything. Allow them to speak. If my mom would have uh, did that for us, I think I probably would have told her that I don't know anything, which would have given her an opportunity to educate me based on her experiences. So growing up, I made a lot of assumptions about money. Right. So I assumed that money wasn't a good thing. Money caused heartache and pain. And um, I started to develop a mindset behind money of like, it's OK to struggle. Right. It's OK to be in debt. That's just the life that we live. But it was the life that um, I was birthed into and born into. And I didn't have an opportunity to say, I don't really know anything. So the first thing you as a parent, guardian or advocate should do is say and ask your child, what do you know about money? The important part about not saying anything after is empowering that child to talk about money. Many of you watching this video today can say, yeah, there wasn't a space where I can talk about money. I really didn't um, have an opportunity to tell anyone what I had about money. One is because no one really asked you, but two is because no one really allowed you to speak. So as a parent or someone who really wants your child to learn more about money, give them the opportunity to speak. Let them say what they know or don't know. That's the first thing. The second thing is ask them about some of their financial goals. Is there something that they wanna do with money? Um, me and my daughter, we love to set financial goals. Uh, she wanted to buy a gymnastics bar and she came to me one day and was like, daddy, I wanna buy a gymnastics bar. I was like, okay, so how are we gonna make that happen? She said, you'll buy it because you make the money. I was like, wow, that is so true. I do make the money. So I told her, what if you made the money? She said, how do I do that? That gave me an opportunity to help and demonstrate how she can make money, right? So more importantly, she set the financial goal by determining what she wanted to buy long-term. Long-term for kids is anything that is not today. <laughs> so when you tell your child long-term, think about something that they can have a few weeks from now or a few months from now. So she had a long-term goal of getting a gymnastics bar, which was three months. She looked it up. She determined that she wanted this gymnastics bar. It cost like 160 something dollars. We included taxes. So that gave me an opportunity to talk to her about what she sees as the price versus what the price really is with taxes, right? These are things that we know because we, we do it. We don't have to uh, go an extra mile to learn how to do this part, right? But we're helping our kids learn it early on so that when they make financial decisions, they're able to make that with the prior knowledge and um, some type of relationship with financial literacy and financial education. So after that, what we did was I determined that she had to make a certain amount each month. So every three months, this is what you needed to make. But the key part was this, and the key part of the just demonstrate part was allowing her to make healthy financial decisions. So as she was making money, there were days where she had to choose, was she gonna spend it? Was she gonna save it? Was she going to share it? right? Spend, save, share. She had to make those decisions. Her process of making those decisions allowed me to help facilitate healthy decision making. So I would say, what about your gymnastics bar? And she would say, hmm, daddy, you're right. I do want that gymnastics bar. So again, that's a great way to demonstrate to your kids about financial literacy. And then ultimately be transparent with your kids. Talk to them about um, some of the struggles or successes behind money. I know for a lot of you, um, you probably don't eat at the dinner table anymore. Uh, but for me, 
uh, when I lived with my dad, we sat at the dinner table and he would ask us about money. Um, he would have those conversations about money. So I went from a situation where I really didn't talk about money to being with my dad where he kind of talked about, okay, so you said you want to go to the movies. How much is the movie going to cost? Dad, it's going to cost $11. But what about the bus ride? Oh, dad, I don't want to think about the bus ride. Okay, so do you have a backup plan? What about the the cost of popcorn? The po For me, I was like, dad, what are you talking about? But I placed a lot of importance in it now because it really helped me understand how I can have money conversations with my kids. So as you think about what you're doing today and what your kid is experiencing, sit them down and practice PED, P-E-D. Participate, educate, demonstrate. Allow them to talk about money. You share your experiences with money. You continue to increase your financial literacy so that y'all can grow together and truly count the cost because I'm here to help you be more empowered to take control of your finances as well as your family. See you with the next video.